what we're doing is quite challenging, right? Because it's it's something that hasn't been done before. There's never been an automotive company that's solely based in Africa, which means that we have to do things a little differently and we have to adapt to the environment and see how we maybe can do things better than they've been traditionally done. My name is Alvin Wilson and I work at Rome. Rome is an electric vehicle startup based in Kenya. We're building electric motorcycles and electric buses to electrify the African continent. Our solution is really built with robustness in mind and the use case in mind. But also implementing electric vehicles might make more sense in this region of the world than anywhere else. Already today, Kenya has 86% renewable energy production, which means that as soon as our vehicles are out on the road, we can make them cleaner, better, but with an immensely lower operation cost. We've spent a year of research and a year of development to get to this point where we really can go mass production. So here in Kenya, two wheelers, that's motorbikes. At the third most common means of transport being used by over 1.4 million. In terms of serviceability of the bike, um, we've tried to make it easier to repair and also maintain. We have uh, dual batteries, so that's for longer range. It will take you more than 160 kilometers on a single charge. Our focus at Rome is really on mass transit vehicles, right? And what does mass transit vehicles mean? It's vehicles that are used every day, all day. Public transport buses that we electrify, as well as locally called Boda Bodas or Piki Pikis, which are commercially used motorcycles. These vehicles, you know, they run 100 to 150 kilometers a day. They transport goods across the city, or even in rural communities, they take passengers and taxi operation. These vehicles are the ones we focus on because we can really have a massive impact and carbon reduction impact by focusing on vehicles that are used heavily. So our electric motorcycle doesn't only have a sustainability impact, it also has a social impact. It also lowers the operational cost with electricity and petrol prices in Kenya today by 76%, which has a massive impact for the families of the commercial operators because they can actually double their income in a day because of this reduced operational cost. I think that's why price parity is so important that we really show that this technology is ready and we can make it work and operate from day one. So it's a very proud moment for me. We want to make electric mobility accessible to everyone and not just a class of people. The adoption and the tech adoption is really, really quick once you prove that it works. People just want to say, you know, cool, great, this is the future, it costs me less to run, wonderful, let's get on it. And so there's a lot less holding back, which is really exciting because it's an environment that's really thriving and moving forward. I think the best people for a project like this are people that believe that you can change the world. And, you know, with deep technical skill and creativity, I think you can build a future that you believe should exist.